applause, deserved applause for Ron Blessed. Brassie with uh, now holding two. There the crowd watching a magnificent display of lead bowls again on the replayed third in from Rowan Brassie. He just keeps putting them back, burns the opposition off. And Bryant uh, deciding that uh, drawing is the best means to counter Brassy's accuracy. He's tried to fire three times and failed with them all, and he's drawing well now. Slipping through. Shots still with New Zealand. And if we can have a look at that uh, Rowan Brassy style, which is so effective, so brilliant, there's very little to say about it. It's so economical. He does so little that he can't do anything wrong. When you put it all together, that's what happens. The man is unreal. He allows himself just a little bit of a smile here. Earlier, David Rees-Jones, our guest this afternoon, said he's uh, certainly the best lead in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, possibly in the world. Uh, can we leave out that possibly now? Well, in order to qualify as the best lead in the world, you've got to be able to play in both hemispheres. And uh, Rowan Brassie played well at Aberdeen, but he didn't play anything like this. And uh, we've got very good leads who can play very well in Britain. When they come out here, there they struggle a little. Um, you've got to be an all-round player, I think, Ian. Good comment, David, because uh, certainly on the far screens, they, it, they, they suit Rowan Brassie's style. Bryant's going to drive again. He's got it again. Maybe in for a long game this afternoon. This is the fourth replay coming up of end of three. New Zealand leading with uh, three on the second end by three shots to one. Here it comes. He gets the short, brassy bowl right on the button, and that goes on to the jack, and the jack springs out of the rink of play. This is another important uh, facet of Brassy's game, his ability to deliver the jack. And uh, this jack has gone just a little further than perhaps both he and Bellis would have liked because uh, it's probably around about 10 to 12 feet beyond where they were playing for last time. Let's see if it affects Brassie's delivery and rhythm. Back he comes again. Rowan Brassy has not been called on to do what David Bryant has done in the last two ends because he's been bowling so well there's been no requirement for him to play the run or the hit. That's quite right, and I wonder whether it was intentional, the, uh, the slightly longer jack, to make it more difficult for the English team to make the dead ends. 
because we could go on all day like that with Brassie putting them on top and Bryant and Alcock killing them. As you can probably see in the background, the score is three to one. New Zealand are leading three shots to one. It's been such a long time since the scoreboard attendant has had to turn the score over. wins games by attrition he just keeps wearing away at the opposition and whereas Ryan Brassies keeps okay. putting them on David Bryant will break up until he breaks up fascinating confrontation Got it again, but this time the Jack stays alive. Brassy Toucher is probably in the ditch. The last bowl that uh, Brassy played was a toucher, and that was the bowl, I think, that... Uh, there it is. New Zealand have shot. And really, it's a case of uh, get out of that one, Tony Alcock, because... Uh, that's a very close bowl. That's a toucher. So many people ring up and ask, why do we chalk bowls? Well, that's the reason we chalk bowls. That bowl in the ditch touched the jack on its original course, and it was driven into the ditch, as you saw, by David Bryant, and it still remains alive. So certainly we won't be killing this end. It's just a matter now of how close Peter Bellis and Tony Alcock can draw to the ditch. Oh, 
Cock will want to get close with this one because there will be a temptation for Ballas to perhaps run the English closest bowl. It's worth another two to New Zealand. All Cock goes into the ditch. Brassie is at the present time, he is chalking and marking the exact position of the, di of the jack. That's important because it, the jack is replaced to its original position. That means that Bellis will drive the closest English bowl. And just in case it was to disturb the jack, Brassy can replace the jack in its exact position. Here it comes. Bellis going for the closest English bowl. It's worth two more shots. Here it comes. Yeah. Actually, leave it all to the number. You'll probably drift the rest. Cock, one down, looking to draw as close as he can to the, the ditch, but failing one with down. weight. The same way as the second one to New Zealand. They now lead <laughs> after the fourth replay of the third end. New Zealand lead by four shots to one. Three-quarter length end. Brassy short with his first. 